in the series have been defensive battles. Now the teams head north to Ottawa for games three and four. Bob Pompiani joins us with a look ahead. Bob. Well, Ken, I can tell you, Penguins hockey is normally defined by not just winning, but scoring and entertaining. They led the NHL in goals, shots on goals, and scoring chances this year. But last night, Ottawa kept those totals relatively low again. But the Penguins still scored the one that mattered the most. And Marc-Andre Fleury made it all stand up with another shutout. After that one nothing win, which even the series at 1-1, the team took their charter to Ottawa for Game 3 meeting tomorrow night at the Canadian Tire Centre. Mario Lemieux led his team on board. Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, and the rest of what's left of the healthy bodies all deported mid-afternoon. Last night, Brian Rust and Justin Schultz were lost in this game, did not return. They both are listed as day-to-day -day upper body. Both, however, did make the trip. But it means the Penguins must dig deep to get players to step up, which they have done all season long. Anytime you have adversity like that, it's easy to fold. I mean, you can kind of feel bad for yourselves and, and be like, oh, Tanger's out, Daly's out, now possibly Schultz. You can, you can kind of feel bad, but... I mean, we've kind of rallied around it. We're fortunate to have the depth that we have. Mark's a guy that uh, has invaluable experience. Uh, he's, a, he's a really savvy player. I think uh, he could help us on our power play. He could help us get out of our end zone. He's a real good puck mover. I think he's got great puck skills. So, um, you know, that was one of the main reasons why we acquired him when we did. Yeah, as you heard Mike Sullivan say, if Justin Schultz cannot play, another veteran will get his first shot at his first playoff game with the Penguins. That would be 39-year-old Mark Streit. He is the next man up. We have more coming up in sports, including Evgeny Malkin talking about his emotions on the bench last night and what it was directed at. That's all coming up tonight at 645 in the sports. For now, this is Bob Pompiani, KDK-TV Sports.